Brothers and sisters, help me on this new project to sponsor 50 orphans, brothers and sisters, inshallah. It's £600 a year, but I wanted every one of you guys to get involved by giving, even if it's £1. Please get involved now, inshallah, and help us sponsor 50 orphans for an entire year. How can we have so many devices with so many apps which help us monitor our progress for our body, but none for the soul? Well, the Quranly app is about to show you your progress with your soul. Yes, that's correct. Not only does it encourage you to read, it tells you how many verses you've read, how many pages you read, how long you've been on it, and best of all, the Hasana counter. Download the Quranly app now and have a Ramadan with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's book like you've never had before. Uh, how you doing? You right? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. What's your name? Uh, I'm Ivor. Marvin. Ivor. 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 Right, my name is Ali. Um, I'm gonna say a few words. I want you to tell me what comes to your mind. Yeah. Um, when I mention the word Israel, what comes to your mind first? I mean, dodgy state. Why? Uh, it just abuses their power, don't they? Yeah. From what you guys have seen, what sort of things have you seen and how, how has it made you feel? I saw um, a photo on Twitter, I think it was two days ago, of a baby boy and he had, like, not bullet shots, but it was like the plastic bullets. And it, yeah, it's, it's really upsetting and I don't understand why no one is like, no big influence. That I follow, that I have had a say on it, right. and there should be more awareness on such a topic that's just shocking so many victims. People are using their platforms for the wrong reasons. What has been happening to the Palestinian people for so long? Yes. Yeah. And what do you think? I mean, and, and the yeah, fact that yeah. Palestinian people are standing up now, that's what makes the difference to me, yes. is not saying they weren't standing up before, but <laughs> for them yeah, of course, to of course. march and protest and not be supported by the West is wrong. You know, we need to, those of us who live here should, you know, make the effort, you know, at the very least to come out and yeah. to show our support. The, the false conflation, right, between anti-Semitism on the one hand, which everyone will agree is abhorrent and yeah. there's no place for it in modern society, and anti-Israel sentiment where you're criticizing yeah. the government action, which we can do with any country in the world. Yeah. So this kind of Israeli exceptionalism is in fact a racist concept in and of itself, because why is it that we don't, you know... Why, why, exactly. Yeah. No, the thing is, is, imagine, imagine. I think this is an example, tell me if I'm wrong, yeah? Imagine ISIS, they're, they're Muslims, they're bad. Imagine ISIS says that if anyone speaks out against us, they're Islamophobes. Can, 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 you, can, you, can you imagine ISIS saying you, you're Islamophobe if you talk about what we're doing? How are you Islamophobe? You, you get what I'm trying to say? People are dem demonstrating outside Ilbit. Have you guys ever heard of Ilbit? No, I haven't heard of Ilbit. No, no? no not really. So do you see, did you know that it was located here in the UK? Yeah, I didn't know. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. If, I'm, if I'm beating you up, uh, if I said that's a clash, don't get involved, there's a big problem. I think you would call the police, right? Yeah. Okay, what if the police don't do nothing about it and they said, oh, you're just clashing? That's wrong. That's not fair. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. Uh, do, do you assess that maybe social media has had an impact on the mainstream media? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, 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 that's right. I mean, I think people in general, so many, many people, uh, you know, look at the horror of what's happening yeah. and don't have a complication of knowing which side to be on. They're on the side of the oppressed yeah. who are having bombs sent and tanks sent at them and guns pointed at them. So that's not complicated. So the mass media, who are much more interested in supporting the interests of the powerful, right. have to listen yeah. sometimes a bit. And so when they hear social media, saying support Palestinian rights, they have to give some space to that. If I was to ask you, guess, what's the percentage of arms that go from America to Israel? What would you guess? Wild guess. 40, yeah. yeah. 40? 40, yeah. It's 70%. Do you see? It's mad. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Um, so I study a master's in post-colonial uh, studies and theory and uh, we see Israel as a modern apartheid state and um, we, my uni goldsmiths gives money to fund arms in, uh, to give arms to Israel. So my course have produced, we've um, sent a letter as a course to the university to, and we're striking and not paying our tuition fees to, in protest against some of the things that they do. Well, it's extremely commendable. I think what you're doing is you're acting as a student shield yeah. in your university. And obviously, you're a very intelligent and articulate person. Hopefully, we're able to put forward a narrative, okay, 
against this apartheid state, against the state that it knows when it bombs the most densely populated place in the world, that there's going to be 80 to 90 percent casualties from civilians, and yet it continues to do so. You know Gigi Hadid, Bella Hadid? Yeah. yeah. I think Bella Hadid's been very vocal about it. Yeah, this. she has. Yeah, I've seen that she has been. And I think it's so, for like a young girl, it's very admiring that someone with such a big platform is using that for good cause, because the majority of them don't use that at all. Yeah. So what's very interesting is, you know, um, Israel, they've got their own Twitter page as well. So they posted that Bella Hadid has been anti-Semitic because she's speaking up. Did you hear that? Oh, I haven't heard that. I did see that. I do think that it, as a social media, it must be so hard to advocate your own views when you're not actually sure on the issue yourself. That's how I feel. I don't know how to talk about such an issue because you don't want to say the wrong thing. You don't want to say, you don't want to say something that's going to insult somebody else. But I do feel like raising awareness upon such a destructive issue is just important in itself rather than being afraid of saying the wrong thing or something that's going to insult somebody else you should just be advocating something that's wrong it yeah. should be so much more black and white than it already is it's like, right and much wrong yeah. do you remember this video have you seen this video no okay that video is of a um a jewish settler and it's in settler yeah? yeah and he's basically going and stealing the property of a muslim and they're trying to stop him and he uses this is what he says he says if i don't steal it someone else will steal it does that, does that justify stealing it? Like, imagine if I came and said to you, I'm going to steal your bike. If I don't do it, he's going to do it. Do that justify it? No, not at all. And I think also that people are becoming a bit more emboldened now by in their labeling of the uh, Israeli state as apartheid state, yeah, yeah, um, right. as a terrorist state even. What, what are your views on that? That, uh, that, is, that is correct to do so, you yeah. know. It is, it's a state that... Um, you know, excludes and um, and uh, discriminates and wages war against um, a people who live there for many hundreds of years, if not longer. You know. Yeah. I do think things are changing. I think that previously, if you spoke up for Palestine as an MP or in the media, like you could lose your job or like things like that. And this is a massive shift in opinion, and that now it's sort of it's okay to like stand proud and say free Palestine. Exactly, and that's how it should be. You know that the fourth largest arms dealer to Israel, fourth or fifth, is the UK. Did you know that? Yeah, you did, yeah. And did you know that the country that gave legitimacy to Israel was the UK? because of the Balfour Declaration. Have you heard that? Balfour? Yeah, I, I saw something about Balfour. You heard that, yeah? Yeah, I saw, I saw How old are you? I'm 14. It's quite impressive, you know. I feel like people are too scared to say the wrong thing, so they don't say anything at all, because it gets pulled up a lot when people say, but you don't know because you come from such a privileged background and you, you're not in that environment yourself. And I think people just instantly shut down about it. Like they and they don't, that's, they don't want to say the wrong thing, but to be honest, Anyone that's an advocate for such a for such a treacherous issue, you can't advocate the wrong thing because if you're raising awareness for something that's wrong, how can that go either way? You can't. If I asked you, or if you both got in a fight, yeah? Okay, because this man can be a bit aggressive here. Yeah? <laughs> if you got into a fight and he's starting to hit you, yeah? Okay. Um, and if, if you came and said, can you help me? And I said, well, you guys are just clashing. Yeah. How would you feel? I feel that was unfair because it wasn't a fair fight. Really? Imagine you went to the authorities, you call to the police and the police comes and says, what's wrong, madam? And you're like, this, this man has been punching my face and goes, well, well, you guys are clashing, it's okay. How would you, how would you guys feel? I feel uh, taken advantage of. And, yeah, exactly. And that's, that's exactly what's going on. Because if you, look at, if you look at what's going on, you've got little kids with rocks and you've got rockets are flying in and blowing these kids into pieces. And all, we, all the BBC is using is, there's clashes. It's unfair. I'm going to use some words and you tell me what comes to your mind, okay? And when I say Israel, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Flag. What's that? Flag. Flag. Okay. Uh, is that the only thing you remember Israel with? Uh, with what's happening in Palestine. Yeah, that's what I meant. That so is what it shouldn't be a political thing. It's a thing for everyone. Everyone that's walking down the street. As you've just like, it's spoke like to us. If it happened to me, like... It's out of our control, it's out of their control. What are they supposed to do? They can't voice it. All they can prey on is that the media voice it. To and they haven't. Yeah, and they haven't. Have I mean, I've seen some pretty bad stuff. I mean, like, when I flick onto my Instagram and stuff like that, yeah, you see, like, some of the things and, like, all videos had to get censored and things like that because, like, some of the things that are happening are pretty terrible. 
happened. Like the media representation has been disgraceful. It puts it as a fair battle, and it's not. It's bombing innocent civilians, as you said. Yes. Like I just think, even even some of the left media, like the Independent and the Guardian and the BBC, it, it's just not not covering it at all fairly. Your understanding of of the reality. Why do you think this may be overlooked compared to other issues? Because I think it's more about like where it's also happening because if it happened here or something it'd be like one of the biggest things to ever happen yeah. just because it's not here or if it's not like in america or in a european country they're kind of overlooking it showing us that you can't rely taken down now and it's just like the, the people that disagree with your post will never see them because that's how the AI algorithms right. work so you can't yeah. you can't yeah. really rely on so don't worry we're gonna smash the algorithm <laughs> <laughs>